Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and uh, we've been working on the chemicals for a while there now so I said I'd change it up this week and put a different video in because um, I'll have more videos coming on the chemicals uh, stuff that I'm working on at the moment but um, we're, we, I wanted to show you uh, another video on some different stuff. This will be a bit shorter than my normal 25 minute, minute videos. I'd be thinking maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes of tops on this video. Might be even less um, but as I said I just have to get one done on it because a lot of people will be who do mobile phones will know that you have a lot of these batteries is what you have a lot of from your you're doing them so people are asking about the gold recovery from the battery so if you look at batteries you will see if that will focus they all have like gold either pins or gold connectors somewhere along them um, so you can see there that's two and then again you'll have it here this one on, the, on a different spot different type again um, and this one here so you have them here run along there and then when you remove them you have these so you either get something like this with your pins in it if I can get it to focus so you have the gold gold connector pins with some little gold flashing on a the board there's is let me see if I have some more that I took out there earlier uh, again that's another one with with the little gold pins turn it this way you can see them flashed on one side and they're not flashed on the other side so that's what you can get out of, out of them I've just seen if I have another this as well this is your um, on the on the board so essentially it's like what you'd see on ram fingers it's it's a, a light uh, flashing of gold engineered gold onto it um, so again I'll treat this type the same way I would the ram fingers to get the gold off there and these type with the uh, pins on them I will treat the same as if gold plated pins or gold flash pins so that's the way I'll recover it afterwards but how do I get them out of here is the question so uh, there's a couple of methods I use on it first of all you have to be very very careful uh, because if you pierce the inside of these batteries you can allow the chemicals to mix and that can cause a fire um, so store your batteries somewhere safe um, if you're going to store them I store them in usually I'd have them in a tin bucket um, or a bin a steel bin or something like that so that if they did go on fire there are less chance of them and I'd store them outside always so I do I just have them in a tin, bon, uh, tin bin outside but for this video I've put, brought them in to do the video because no point doing it outside because it's a bit windy or whatever today so I said I'd bring them in so we'll just pick something up and see where we we'll go pick a battery so we'll start with these Nokia fairly common battery these are from the old Nokia's and again you have your thing up there so what I usually do put a board down something something like a hard surface and let me get the camera set up a bit better so we can zoom in on it so we have our battery here so if you look at the battery there's a little plastic line that's running along this battery along here so if I can cut along there without piercing this that will allow the battery to be take this out without doing any damage to the battery so let me focus in there a bit so I'll just get my knife and very easily just find that spot and move the knife along it until I pierce through but making sure I'm not piercing the actual battery itself I'm just moving along that line and all I'm doing is cutting in so that it's just taking the taking that casing away from the actual battery itself So we should have it pulled enough away that I can give you a look inside so you can see. If I can get that to focus, I'll probably just zoom out a bit. Camera doesn't want to play. So I haven't pierced underneath the battery, but I've removed this seal here. So then if I pull that off, or we get a pliers to pull it off. So I've left the battery intact, haven't pierced it. And just making sure that there's no contacts going to touch off each other which can cause a fire so again i left that with no contacts touching off each other so once i've done that battery i can put it aside i'm left with this so i can see up here this is where the gold is so we need to get that out now so again it's just simply on this one usually pulls apart some of them are sealed very good make them a bit more difficult but usually this one just pulls apart so there we go, and we have our little gold 
connectors. So again, you can put your gold connectors aside and just check there's another one here. So again, just do the same thing. I could actually cut a bit higher on this one. Made it a little bit easier, but we'll get it out this way. So I'll just remove the two layers from each other and we should have our gold connector underneath. So I'll just remove it from the plastic and there we are. So we have the rest of our gold flashing. Again, it's only small amounts, but if you have a lot of batteries, I have a couple of hundred batteries. So that's one type of battery there that I'll be doing. Then we have these type of Nokia's. So again, they're another Nokia battery. They're an older type Nokia battery. So again, what I'm looking for is a lines where I can pierce the battery without going all the way through. So this one seems to have the line running along there, but I'm just going to try something else first with the pliers. Because sometimes you can just, no, this one's going to have to be cut out. So again, carefully with the, the knife, I'm going to try and remove on the, just here at the edge, so that I'm not piercing the actual battery itself. I'm just getting the plastic removed from over it. So all I'm doing is cutting that, sorry, cutting that along and trying to expose where the battery is underneath. So you can see there, once I've taken the plastic off, I've exposed this, so I just need to remove a bit more of the plastic. I say this is the way I do it. Just loads of other methods out there. If you just look on YouTube, you'll find loads of people have different ways of getting their, the ones out, but they're very important not to pierce the battery if possible, because if you pierce the battery, it'll start a little fire. And the most important thing is don't panic if you start the fire. If the battery starts to smoke, don't panic. You have a little bit of time usually, and you can get it into, into a bin, a steel bin or something like that, so you're not going to. So we have that up along there. So again, I'm just going to pull this out of that casing. So that's some of it out. That actually broke inside, but some of it you can see the gold there. No gold on that side. I'll just get the the rest of it out. So I needed to cut that plastic a bit deeper, but I didn't. Just don't. I just don't want to make, pierce the battery. That's all. We don't want a, an actual fire. So this should give me the rest of the bat, the rest of the contact. There we go. So again, just break that off. We have the rest of the contact on it. So that's another type of battery. Um, let me see what else we have here in the batteries because it's all different types. This is out of a HTC. So again. I'm looking for the little rim where it meets, so you can see the line along there, and I'm just going to get the knife, and that's where I'm going to make the incision and move along that line, to make sure I don't pierce below that line, because below that line you can be going into the casing of the battery itself, and we don't want to do that. So let's get the pliers now that I've taken the casing off. Okay, so again, that battery seems to be okay. We've left it intact. We haven't gone through the, the actual casing. The contacts are separate from each other. They're not crossing. So that battery will be disposed of properly. Again, dispose of the batteries properly. Make sure they're being um, put into your recycling or whatever you're going to do with them. Um, if there's a in here in Ireland, there's a company yeah, to take the batteries for recycling fully. So I just remove the gold from them and then I put that into their recycling centers. So again, you can see the gold. Just need to remove it from the plastic casing. Don't know what that bang was. Something banging. So there's there's our battery contact. Sorry guys, just for focusing properly. But you can make out kind of what uh, what we're looking at. Camera doesn't want to play today. No, camera doesn't want to focus today, but that's our contacts. And we just check to see if I have any more of them left in this case. It's a little bit here at the end. Just see if there's anything in it. No. Okay, so that's another type of battery. Then I want to show you 
there's some which you have to actually break off and um, the ones on the side if I can get one with a side connector on them all the batteries I have here I don't think I have one with a side let me just check in here because I have hundreds of batteries to go through um, that side. sorry I should have been better prepared but I thought I had one out let me just throw a few batteries out here because I've I'd say it's over 12, 1300 batteries to do. So they'll, they'll all add up and they'll go into the collection and they'll be processed again with other stuff um, when I'm doing it. It's all different types. Actually, where we're at, I will just show you this one. Um, so this is one with a lot of little pins again. So I'm looking for a line. So again, if you rub your finger along, you usually feel it. So I'll actually remove the tape on this one, might make it easier for you to see. Okay, so we can maybe see a bit better there. So I'm going to cut as tight as I can to this plastic. There's a plastic lip in here that I can feel with my finger. So I'm just cutting that off to expose. So we don't want an explosion. So just make sure that when you cut it off, you're keeping the battery itself intact. So you can see in, in here, if I pull this apart, actually give us a better look. This is our battery. So this is the battery which contains the chemicals which will react together to give you the electrical charge. So, but what you don't want is to pierce it and have all that electrical charge coming out in one big wallop. So then that's when you get a fire, get smoke, get flames, get everything on it. I might do a video on it at some stage where I'll show you what happens if you do do pierce them. So I'm just taking that battery out completely so you can get a right look at it. So that's your battery encased in the plastic. So what I'm trying to do is Make sure when I'm cutting that I'm not cutting below that plastic line. So this one is easy enough to do because the plastic I've taken the whole casing off it, which is an option you can do as well. And I'm making sure that these contacts here, here and here never touch because then you'll short it out. And again, that will cause the battery to go on fire. So I've just removed that and I'm left with my battery. You don't want to bend that, you don't want to hit it with a hammer, you don't want to pierce it, anything like that, or you'll end up with a fire. So again, that'll be put into the recycling. So now what I'm left with is the casing from it. And I just break off the ends here because I don't want them. And we're into where the actual gold is itself. So now we have to just try and remove that from the rest of the casing. So it's a matter of breaking off the plastic. Straightforward. And then we can remove any excess metals or connectors that we don't need by quickly doing that. I'm just watching the time because we're nearly at 15 minutes and I don't want to overdo it. So that's that connector. And then I have one more I wanted to show you, but they all kind of work the same way. Um, they're trying to find some batteries that might be awkwarder that the way I do it and then. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's getting plenty of plenty of gold from their gold recovery or plenty of uh, scrap material, stuff like that. Um, that they're having no issues finding it. I hope that the prices on gold are fairly high at the moment, which is great if anyone is looking to sell it. But we've, I've had a conversation with other scrappers on my lives, and scrappers don't like to sell too often. So I think this one will show you. So again, we have it on the side on this one. So you know, normally we have them along here, but this one we have them on the side. So they're a bit more awkward to take apart. For me, I usually just get a pliers and I try and break off the cover like that. From it again making sure I don't pierce the battery and it should just pull apart there we go so I'm leaving the battery intact underneath and all I'm doing then is getting the fingers out so you can see the battery underneath here is intact I haven't pierced it or anything all I'm going to do now is just get a pliers and pull off the actual pins themselves so you can see there these are the pin type there so they're 
gold sided and one side only on top of a tin or steel underneath so again they'll be treated like gold plated pins so that's kind of it guys i don't think there's much more you need to know on the batteries it's just to be safe with them and not to um not to rush or take your time on them maybe do 10 a day do whatever 20 a day and then, then don't don't be trying to get through the whole lot in one day i'll do about 10 or 12 a day and that's it you know when i'm bored or something i'll just do 10 or 12 so guys that's nearly the end of the video but i'm just going to let people know about my stickers anyone that's familiar with my lives will know that i've been talking about stickers and sending them out so i have some stickers that i want to that i'll be sending out to people this week and um, they'll be shocked when they arrive i know well they're not expecting them but they'll get them um, so you can see i have different types of stickers always little small ones large ones big ones every sort of thing um, some of these reflective stickers so they're like a reflective sheen to them they're a nice little sticker so if anyone wants one of them stickers who hasn't already emailed me you can email me at scrappingirish75 at gmail.com so uh, that's scrappingirish75 at gmail.com you'll also find uh, my email address up there on the um, page itself on the about part so you'll see my email address in there so if you drop me your name, your address, uh, don't worry, everything is confidential, guys. I'm not going to be giving out anyone's details to anyone. Um, anything you send to me is always confidential and private. I'll post you out a couple of stickers. So I'll send you out one of these stickers. I'll send you out one of these stickers. And I'll send you out one of the little teeny stickers. So there'll be three stickers coming out in the post, anyone that wants one. It's just for all the subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time and watching my channel and all the support you're giving me, guys. It's great. I've... Um, I'm never going to get rich out of YouTube or I'm never going to make big money out of YouTube, I just enjoy it, but I enjoy it when I get feedback and I enjoy um, meeting new people who are into the same sort of hobbies. I say I will be doing different stuff on the channel, I'm going to do some travel videos around Ireland soon, they'll be coming soon. Um, and um, I'll still be doing my gold recovery and I'll be adding a bit of scrapping, so I'll be taking apart other stuff like maybe um, dishwashers and washing machines and showing what copper and stuff like that. I don't really collect that much copper and stuff like that. I kind of save it up for uh, pop scrap at the moment. But maybe down the road I might start looking at collecting some of it myself. But for the moment I'll be giving anything I get to pop scrap. And he's collecting boards and stuff for my e-waste. But I just need to expand the channel just a bit more from e-waste to add other, other parts to it. So guys, I've actually gone to nearly 18 minutes on this video. So I'm going to call it at that. And I'm going to... Um, See you on the next one, my live on Monday. If, um, if, if you want to catch my live on Monday, drop in. Um, I'll try and have, we usually have a 30 minute uh, Q&A with someone, so I'm not sure who I'm having this week. But um, drop in and check it out. Drop your email if you want to get some um, some stickers. Just put them over there with the rest. And uh, catch you on the next one, guys. Keep on looking for that gold.